Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some nice slivers. We won the die roll up against Jeremiah, and we've got a one lander that we cannot keep. Unfortunate. Ugh. I don't like this either, but we got a couple turns to try to find our planes. I'll keep. And we'll dump one of our plated. Keep the Sidewinder. Why not? We don't know what we're up against yet. Drop the Viverlint. Get ready to drop the Predatory. We'll see what we're up against here. Hmm. Some artifacts. Okay. Gives us a few turns to hopefully set up. Hmm. Well, that's good. That's good. Hmm. Uh, yeah. I think I'm just going to go ahead and cycle this. Get our planes right freaking now. Play that, play a Sidewinder, and we can swing in for a little bit of damage. Good old Sidewinder letting us attack in. There we go, one poisonous, one damage down, and our mana is fixed. Thank goodness. They've got their Seed of Cyanide. Uh, three bit Inspector, another one comes down. Let's see, do they have a follow up here? They do with the blue Thought Cast. Perfect, lovely. Gotta love it. Four, four artifacts down already. The one drop thought cast is pretty nice. Refilled to six cards in hand. Not great for us. Uh, I think I just want to keep getting damage in there. So let's go ahead and do that. Three poisonous on the board and four damage in. And they get the great furnace. So things are going to start dying. Unfortunate. Galvanic Blast something. Yep, my Viverlint. Ooh, scared of the Viverlint. Alright. Now we just start uh, lording it up. Start getting the lords down. Hmm, what do I want here? I want to refill. Gem Hide is pretty nice. I do like Gem Hide here. Play Lord, swing in for three, then refill next turn. I think I'm going to do that. I want to keep pressuring. I want to keep pressuring. Taking it, going to 12. If they kill my gem hide here, that would be the smartest play, honestly. But here come the enforcers. Free enforcers. So they're going to draw a card, crack a clue. All right. They tap their blue for that. Galvanic Blast with one of my lords now. Hopefully not my gem hide crossing my fingers. If they're doing it, uh, they're, they keep doing it on their turn. Unless this is something else. Sorry for the later upload today. Had, I didn't have a chance to record for today's video. And I was working all day. So, still wanted to get one out there for you guys. It's just going to be a little bit of a later one. There we go. So now they are waiting on the Galvanic Blast. Which, uh, you know, good for them. We'll do the lead. We'll get a heart. And that's it. Lose three force in a winding way. Pretty terrible stuff if you ask me. Heart sliver scary, but not when you don't have anything else. Pretty trash lead the stampede. I can't even attack in here because they're gonna galvanic blast my sinew and then just eat one of my creatures. Our sidewinder would trade. Uh have us trade with the flanking for the enforcer, but it's it's not gonna happen. They're holding that galvanic. Laser one of my lords right now. I'd actually be pretty scared about that heart sliver though. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. I think they still have it though. I think they were just, they're just waiting. They might regret that. They might regret waiting. Maybe they think they can just race my board if they can keep drawn into enforcers. I don't know. Tapping for three. 
What do you got for three right now? Yeah, fall from favor. What does this one do again? Uh, tap enchanted creature. You become the oh yeah, it's the monarch, the new monarch card. That's right. All right, so artifacts are playing with this. Interesting. Uh, creature doesn't untap unless that player is the monarch. All right, well we can easily become the monarch again, and they're just tapping my heart. I mean, everybody else still has haste, so it could be worse. Five cards in hand. They're going to draw an extra card. They're going to have both their red up. Winding Way was a nice draw. That's for dang sure. Give me a hit, though. Ah, it's not the best. They need to start popping some, some Galvanics before it's too late, though. Maybe they were bluffing. Were they bluffing? I don't think they were. You got to do it now. There it is. All right. Bye-bye. Predatory would be the best probably but i guess it doesn't matter too much versus this deck I'm still a little sketched out by their one land Take them down to, uh, yeah, we just can't do it yet. That dang Mirror Enforcer mixed with their Galvanics. If it was just their Thrybans out, it might be a different story, but. Land is fine. I can play anything for anything now. I don't know if it was worth the attack just to get Monarch, but. There's their Atog. Problematic. And mana, mana, mana. So are we gonna pass the turn here with one red up still? What's up? What's going on? Can you guys hear my baby crying in the background? Holy cow, she's going off. She's getting tired. It's almost her bedtime. I don't think you can. I'm all the way upstairs. And this microphone has been treating me pretty decently with sound quality. It's not too bad. Are you going to fling me right now? Ah, uh, they just have the fling win. Fudge. Just going to pass, make sure they have it. But this looks like a fling mission. Seven, blah, blah, blah. Da, da, da. Sack everything. Freaking fling. Well, even if we had attacked last turn, we still wouldn't have won. They just had it set up. That card draw is a monster. They can just barely get it too, which is funny. Bam. Good, 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 good. Good, good, good. All right. Swift. Um, ba, 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 ba. Gleeful. Do we want Pyroblast to counter their card draw or their Monarch card? Is that worth bringing in? Hunter's worth taking out. I don't think we need striking that much. Sentinel, we can take one out. Kind of want to bring in uh, Prismatic. Cut one Winding. Cut one Gem. Maybe I cut the swift response. One swift response. Do I? I'm, I'm thinking about cutting striking. I think we could do away with striking. Let's cut a striking. And if that's the case, too gleeful, too swift, too prismatic. I either cut one swift or I cut another gem hide. I think we can just cut a gem hide if all we're playing for is a heart sliver. 
Yeah, that seems about right. 28 creatures down, taking out a few. Okay, let's try it. We'll keep our, our whole sideboard plan in. We won't make any cuts to it. Uh, yes, play first. Let's not mulligan. Yeah, we're going to mulligan. All right, cool. Holy frick. All right, let's chalk this one up to a loss right now. Just kidding. Doesn't always work like that. Uh, we'll keep it, but holy frick, this is bad. Buy Swift. Uh, buy Sentinel. Say done. Play Forest Pass. Two Predatories and a Gleeful Sabotage in our hand. Oh, these mulligans. They have been brutal to me. I can never just mulligan once with this deck, I feel like. I get a one lander, I have to mulligan. And then I have to mulligan again to four. It's super rare that we get, like, just a one mulligan, get down to six. All right. Well, we get a predatory, we go. All right. Ardent, already a three, three. Springleaf. Sidewinder. All right. Well, I can play you at least. No, nope, undo. I wanted to click the forest. Thank you. And we can at least attack in to the... Rec mm, can we? They could... We could trade something here. And I think I'm okay with that. If they want to trade, you Springleaf Drum to pop off a Galvanic, that's fine. Looks like they're going to do that. Yep. Alright, we'll trade it out. If they drop any, like, Mirror Enforcer, we can kill it with the Gleeful. Sky Fisher, bringing back the Chromat. What are you bringing back? Oh, a land? Okay. Fair enough. Into Thraben. Mm. Mm. Cracking the Chromatic. Playing out Atog. I'll take the sinew. Thinking about Maybe swinging in, making them sack something, and then next turn we can, like, gleeful something else and, like, just really reduce their artifact size. We're just trading stuff out here. I don't really know if that's a smart play, but I'm kind of curious about it. Kind of curious if that's a... If that's a play. If we can just reduce them enough. And then they, they pop some artifact, Dark Steel or Spring Leaf on Atog, and then we just kill something else. Uh, Spring Leaf, I want to kill next turn. I'm going to try it. If they want to take, they can take. They can't kill us next turn with Atog, so. Okay, they're going to take. Let's see what else they can do. Another spring leaf. Okay. They got spring leaf to spare. Chromatic star. Swinging in with the core skyfisher. Sure. They have one card left. Interesting. What we got? Doing something else? 
You have a foul play. We both have one card in hand. Muscle. It's getting interesting. The problem is this just keeps tapping me out a little bit. Kind of rough. Let's play our creature. Now I'm just going to pass. Yep. That extra spring leaf is just fodder for their ATOG. They don't need anything more than one. Starting to get that card draw. Citadel, alright. I want to know what they're holding in their hand here. Could start pressuring with ATOG. Viverlint. You guys aren't going to let me hold up green mana for this Gleeful, are you? But I kind of do want to get Viverlint out so we can conspire if we want. I feel like they got that fling in their hand or something. Two, four, six, eight. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15. Hmm. They're close. They're close to doing it. Crack their chromatic. Hold up a potential thought cast. If this is the Monarch card, which it looks to be, it kind of sucks. I just hope they don't go for... Okay, good. Fall from favor on my Sidewinder. Because I want my green up so I can conspire if need be. I'll take it. All right. Hmm. Their mana's right. I wish I could just take out all their mana here. I'd love to be able to take out both Springleaf and a Prophetic. Maybe I just go for a Prophetic and a Springleaf. I think at this point, is it worthwhile? Do they have any better targets? They have three cards in hand. Four, six, okay. All right, we're gonna pass. Um, difficult. Difficult. Don't know whether to just start targeting or waiting for like enforcers to remove some of the pressure they want to apply. We're not getting the best of draws though. We're not terrible, but just can't do a whole lot. You got an end of turn play? What'd you draw into? Nothing. Okay. Four cards in hand. That's a lot for artifacts. Jeremiah. What are we going to do here? Thought 
podcast. There's an enforcer. Chromatic star, they can crack it. Four, six, eight, ten, twelve. 14, 16, 17. Yep, so we're forced to chump block. What else are we going to do here, Jeremiah? They're thinking. They're thinking hard. I know they're not stalling or playing slow. They're thinking. They're trying to look at the best uh, best line here for them. They got something, something going on. They're just going to eat. All right. Just never run out of cards, do they? Red. A tog. Two A togs. One card in hand. That dang monarch. Two gleefuls, huh? Nothing is good here. <laughs> Nothing is good here. Hmm. I think we're pretty much dead. Frogmite, I don't care too much. Draw a card. Full swing out? Full send? Yeah, full send. No, nope, we have to block these. Start sacrificing. I'm going to kill this dude. Save some life, although I think this is fruitless. Oh, it's a sorcery too. Oops, I forgot. Oops, 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 oops. But oh, whatever. I forgot it was a sorcery. I always do that too. I always forget it's a sorcery. Uh, yeah, and we're dead. We'll concede the game because that's just how it goes. What else were we drawn into? S nothing good though. Yeah, I don't think we were taking this game anytime soon. Um, don't know. I just don't know when to pop these gleefuls on artifacts. Maybe I should have waited a turn on a creature and gone for just killing one of their things while we had the chance, I guess. I don't know, I felt like applying the board was more important than taking a turn to do a Gleeful, or setting up for a potential Conspire was better. But, I don't know, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and leave a like if you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more Slivers coming up this week, and subscribe, I appreciate the support. We will see you guys in the next one.